welcome to We Talk. I'm Vivian. Today we are going to talk about mobile phones. According to statistics, nearly everyone has a mobile phone nowadays. In 2022, including both smart and feature phones, the current number of mobile phone users is 7.26 billion, which makes 91% of people in the world cell phone owners, and the current number of smartphone users today is 6.648 billion, meaning that 83% of the world's population owns a smartphone. The figure doubled for six years Ago. Both Apple and Samsung are the flagship in the industry. However, Samsung can be said to be Apple's predecessor in the mobile phone industry. Before the appearance of smartphones, Samsung was already a mobile phone manufacturer on par with Nokia and Motorola. But Apple's iPhone, launched in 2007, has rewritten the future development of the mobile phone industry. So, what is the development of the two today? Lately, Apple has introduced the new model iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus, featuring two sides in a suffocated design with impressive camera upgrades and groundbreaking new safety capabilities. There is also a bigger update in the iOS system, 16.1. It adds the battery percentage icon to some older iPhones, let you delete the Apple Wallet app and introduces clean energy charging. Basically, your iPhone will check the status of your local power grid and it will prefer to charge when low carbon emission generators are online. This system also tracks your daily routine, so it will make sure that your iPhone is charged when you need it. These new functions add value to the new models. But the most important thing is that this time iPhone 14 introduced a very special deep purple color which captured the mind of consumers always which makes it very popular and are still now in short supply. This situation makes Apple always stand out from Samsung. According to Cantor Brand's research in June, Apple's brand value has reached 947 billion US dollars, an increase of 55% over last year. It is the most valuable brand in the world. And start from next month, October, Apple announced that App Store will be available in Chile, Egypt, Japan, Malaysia, Pakistan, Poland, South Korea, Sweden, Vietnam, and all regions that use the euro will increase the price of the app and in app purchases. In summary, Apple is still the strongest brand expected to become the first brand which value exceeds 1 trillion in history. This is the end of We Talk Today. See you next time. Bye bye.